Thank you, Jesus. My friend, everything can break down. Everything can burn out. The best of the best can crash. The greatest among us lose motivation. There are going to be discouragement. There are going to be crises. History is full of chaotic and horrifying death, painful situations because the people did not regain their motivation. Jesus himself experienced moments of lost motivation in the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus even prayed, Father, if it is your will, let this cup pass from me. Jesus himself sweated as it were drops of blood. This was his crisis hour, his moment of lost motivation. Jeremiah experienced lost motivation. Micah experienced great loss of motivation. Jonah lost his motivation and even refused to obey the command to go to Nineveh. Jonah experienced the horrifying belly of the fish. He cried out in anguish until he got back on track. My friend, what happens when you lose motivation? You must realize the potential pain and eventually loss motivation. Suicide can happen to those who do not regain their motivation for life. Some of the wealthiest, the most famous people in the world committed suicide because they refused to take back the important step of recapture their motivation. Your success is determined by the ability, by your own ability to stay motivated. It will happen. Get back into your relationship with Jesus. Motivation is possessing incentive and reward for pursuing a desired goal. My friend, the atmosphere you create around you affects your motivation. The people you associate with affects your motivation. Your focus determines your motivation. Your success in life is completely determined by your ability to stay focused, keep motivated and retain enthusiasm for worthwhile dreams. You are the creation of God. You will experience great moments of inspiration, victorious moments of launching worthwhile dreams. The dreams are worthy, lawful and ideal. Those dreams are worthy the investment of your time, your energy and your life. It is God who is giving birth to these uncommon dreams within you for a reason and for a season. Others will respond to your motivation, your passion and fulfillment of your life. Somebody broken somewhere around the world needs your motivation. Somebody confused needs your motivation. Somebody misdirected and unfocused needs your motivation. Somebody will fail unless you stay motivated. Somebody will die and ultimately death unless you stay motivated. My friend, if quitting brings you joy, then quit. If quitting generates peace, then quit. If quitting is your answer why you are so miserable, quitting does not produce the desired result. So there is no reason to quit. There is nothing to go back to. This is the time of worship. Speak to the Lord. The circumstances of your life may not change as much as you think. But it is your focus that requires adjustment, my friend. Success is the ability to go from failure to failure 
without losing your motivation, without losing your passion, without losing your zeal. Come on, this is the time to get back. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You will fail with your life unless you learn how to motivate yourself. Thousands fail with their life, weekly, hourly and daily. They fail to achieve their potential, their greatness and their dreams. Millions fail in their family life because they do not know how to stimulate torment love. Millions fail in their business because they lose their passion to produce and achieve a great goal. Many ministers have failed in their ministry because of broken focus. Instead of staying focused on something they could achieve, the pain of rejection and confusion over unmotivated scenes brought distress and stress. The hospitals are full of people who failed because they lost their motivation to keep their health. The divorce courts are full of people who lost motivation to develop educate communication skills in their relationship. The bankruptcy cases are plentiful because of those who lost their motivation to learn, make adjustment and develop customer relationship. You too will fail unless you sit down and evaluate the losses you will experience without this great skill, the art of motivating yourself in Christ Jesus. Your destiny will require your own decision making. And sit a while with me when I am done. And oh, my soul so weary. Oh, my soul so weary. When troubles come. When troubles come. And my heart burdened me. My heart burdened me. Then I am still. Then I am still. And wait here in the silence. Wait here in the silence. Until you come. Until and sit a while with me when I am down and oh my soul so weary when troubles come when troubles come and my heart burdened me my heart burdened me then I am still then I am still and wait here in the silence wait here in the silence yes Lord Jesus until you come and sit a while with me. Tell him again when I am down and oh my soul so weary. And oh my soul so weary. When troubles come. When troubles come and my heart burdened be. Then I am still. Then I am still. And wait here in the silence. Until you come. you come and sit a while with me. Tell him again when, when I am down, down and oh my soul so weary. Oh my soul so weary. When troubles come. When troubles come and my heart burden be. And my heart burden be. Then I am still. Then I am still and wait here in the silence. Until you come and sit a while with me. When I am down and oh my soul so weary. When troubles come when troubles come and my heart burdened me. My heart burdened me. Then I am still. Then I am still and wait here in the silence Lord. Until you come, Lord Jesus, you come and sit a while with me. You raise me up so, so I can, can 
stand on mountains. You raise me up, Lord, to walk on stormy seas. I am strong when I am on your shoulders, Lord. You raise me up to more than I can be. Come on, everybody. Come on, my friend. You have not yet been everywhere God is going to take you. You may have not even been to the place where you are going to spend the rest of your life. Be ready for changes, dramatic changes, bold changes, radical changes, unexpected changes, miracles changes, healing changes, promotional changes. Your greatest friends may still be in your future. I am strong when I am on your shoulders. You raise me up to more than I can be. Oh yes, Lord, you raise me up to more than I can be. I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You raise me up, you raise me up to, walk on stormy to walk on stormy seas. I am strong, I am strong when I am on your shoulders. On your shoulders. You raise me up, Lord, raise me up to more than I can be. I tell can the Lord, be. tell the Lord, tell the Lord, thank you, Jesus. Yes, my friend, God is connecting you with new people, new truth, new provisions. You will not stay where you are. Today is your temporary station where He has you changing planes. Remember, your assignment will take you where you have never been before. Yes, where you have never been before. Thank you, Lord. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. I am strong. I am strong when, when I'm on your shoulder. more than I can be. Thank you, Jesus. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up. Raise me up, Lord. Raise me up to more than I can be. You raise me up, Lord. When a man of God obeys you, miracles flows. When miracles flows, joy and fullness of joy flows, O Lord. We see in the in the lives of the prophets, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for the instructions that you give us from your word. And those instructions draw us closer and closer to the miracle that we are seeking for. You raise, you raise me, me up. up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up. You raise me up to walk on stormy sea. I am strong, Lord. When I'm on your shoulders, Lord, you raise me up 
to more than I can be. Yes, Lord, you raise me up. Come on, everybody, everybody. You raise me up. You raise me up to walk on stormy sea. I am strong, just as Joseph was strong, because the Lord was with Joseph. The assignment of Joseph brought joy to a starving nation of Egypt. Come on, it is God who raised Joseph from a slave. To a governor of Egypt, the same God is raising you up. Come on, tell him you raise me up. You raise me up. I am strong, Lord. Look at the life of Joseph. He faced his enemy, confronted every critic, and he was in, willing to endure the season of overload. Come on! You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. Tell him again. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. Every mountain of your life. Come on! You Tell the Lord. Raise me up, O oh Lord, so I can stand on every mountain. You raise me up, Lord. You raise me up. Every mountain of my life. Every problem of my life. Lord, you are with me, and therefore you raise me up. About every mountain, every crisis, every situation, every circumstance that I'm going through. You raise me up. Thank you, Lord. over your assignment your assignment may appear to be very difficult not very significant at this very moment your mind may be a whirlpool of options and choices to make you may toss and turn at night wondering how are you going to feed your own children how are you going to make the payments come on Begin completing the assignment closest to your heart. Listen carefully to the Holy Spirit. Each act of your obedience will create a new wave of blessing around you, my friend. Those you love will reap 10,000 times from your obedience to God. Seasons change. Let me tell you, seasons change. Your present season may be extremely difficult. It may be seeming to stretch every fiber of the being. You may even feel like giving up, quitting and walking away from your assignment. Don't do it. Don't do it. Joy is too close to give up now. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Psalms 30 verse 5. Come on. This is the time of your breakthrough. Your assignment will bring someone great joy and that is your calling for your life my friend don't to quit stay there stay there stay there complete the assignment that god has given you praise god disobedience always produces pain there's an interesting story in the old testament with korah and 250 members of his family rebelled against moses the man of god they refused to follow the man of God and assigned over their life. Korah was a rebel. He did not like Moses' leadership. He disagreed with his decision. Instead of quietly entering the place, 
prayed to Moses and pouring out his heart to God, he stirred up opposition to Moses. He refused to focus on his assignment of supporting the man of God. His entire family paid dearly for his rebellion. God opened up the earth and destroyed them. When many of his friends came to Moses and complained the next day, the wrath of God went forth again. The plague broke out among them and killed more 14,000 people. In Numbers 16, 1 to 35, my friend, if you refuse to carry out your assignment, your entire family may be ushered into a season of tragedy. Stay faithful to God. Stay faithful to your assignment. Too much is at stake. Too many miracles are ahead. Too much pain can be produced through a single act of disobedience. If you rebel against your assignment, you expose your whole family to possible loss and tragedy. Come on. This is the time God wants to raise you up. He wants to raise you up to the next level. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up, Lord. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. Every mountain of your life. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. Every situation of your life, Lord you is raising you up. Strong Lord, Jesus, I am strong when I am, when on, your I am on your shoulder. I am strong when I am on your shoulder. When I am on tell your the Lord, tell shoulder. yourself, I am strong. I am strong. I am strong. I am strong. When, when I am on your shoulder, tell yourself again, I am strong. And I can do all things through Jesus Christ who empowers me from the dead. I am strong because the Lord is with me. I am strong. I am strong. When I am on your shoulder, Lord. I am on your shoulder. Come on, one more time. I am strong. When I am on your shoulder. I am on your shoulder. You raise me up more than I can. Raise me up. More than I can be. More than I can. So this is the time the Lord is raising you up to more than you can be. This is the time of great blessing. You raise me up so I can stand on my own. You raise me up. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. Shoulders, Lord. Yes, yes. I am strong. 
Lord, when I'm on your shoulders, my Lord, you raise me up. Do more than I can do. Come on, sing it, sing it, my friend. You raise me up. So I can stand on my mountains. You raise me up, Jesus. Come on, every child is here. You raise me up. Raise me up. Do more than I can do. More than I can. Don't you stop? Come on, come on, my friend. You raise me up, Jesus. So I can stand on every mountain of my life, Jesus. You raise me up, Lord. Walk on every stormy sea. I am strong. When I am on your shoulders, Lord, your oh, Spirit of God, you raise me up, you raise me up. Raise me up. Here I am, Lord, you raise me up the more than I can. Come on, you raise me up. Raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy. God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Thank you for teaching me, Lord, that if I am willing and obedient, I will eat the good of the land. Submission, my friend, is your personal choice. God resists the proud and gives grace unto the humble. Humble yourself in the sight of God. and he will lift you up submission reveals humility some people assume that leadership is strength and submission implies weaknesses however true submission is evidence of flexibility trust and humility it is the quality of champions hey come on champion submit to god's word submission is a proof of humility humility is the gate to promotion humble yourself therefore under the mighty hand of god that he may exalt you in due season 1 peter 5 6 submission is your personal gift of cooperation to those who govern you Every great leader began as a great follower. They honored authority established by God. Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves for they watch for your souls as they they must give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief. For it is unprofitable for you. Hebrews 13 verse 
it is not their weakness that made them easy to govern rather it was their deep understanding of the laws of promotion see you a man diligent in his business he shall stand before kings he shall not stand before mean men jesus himself knew the rewards of submission when he prayed in the garden of gethsemane he prayed this prayer before calvary oh my father if it possible let this cup pass from me nevertheless not as i will but as you will and this is what the lord is saying to you so remember when you are down and your soul is so weary and when troubles come and your heart is full of burden just be still stay still take your position like mary took a position at the master's feet when jesus came to mary and martha's house martha became busy but jesus as you were teaching mary sat at your feet and waited there in the silence listening to your word until revelation came and she said with that revelation that transformed the life my friend the same lord is with you this very moment he is talking to you he is the one who has the power to raise you up as he raised joseph and made you a mighty leader of egypt over every mountain of his life over every stormy sea it is the lord who made joseph so strong when he depended on god so you also are strong when you are on god's shoulders on god's word he is the one who raises you up more than your ability more than your capacity more than your talents and gifts that is the power of the most high god so remember you might be going through a lot of crises now but the lord is with you he has not left you he has not forgotten you jesus taught us servanthood he made a fascinating statement the disciple is not above his master nor the servant above his lord matthew 10:24 Joseph excelled in servanthood. First he served Potiphar. Then when he was falsely accused by his master's wife and thrown into the prison, he served in the prison until he became the head. And when he was released and promoted, he was promoted. He then served Pharaoh as prime minister of the nation. Joshua served Moses. Esther served the king. Jonathan served David, Elisha served Elijah, Ruth served Naomi. There is power in servanthood. But the servanthood is the golden gate to uncommon promotion. There is a chain of promotion. And that's why there is a reason for obedience. You can only be promoted by someone whose instruction you have followed when god established the chain of authority he was not trying to restrict refrain and confine you he was not trying to stop your flexibility destroy your creativity and imprison you whoever god has assigned over you becomes qualified to promote you that is the purpose of accountability someone is qualified as the golden connection to move you from where you are to where you should be so grow in your heart of servanthood and the more you humble yourself the same god will lift you up will exalt you because he is the same god who has called you god has called you to serve someone who are these people where are they how can you serve them better 
with what kind of attitude with what kind of spirit do you serve them serve them with diligence diligence is immediate attention to your assigned task the uncommon employee will increase his personal wealth and the money of his boss the hand of the diligent make it him rich rob still was four the uncommon employee will always rise to the position of supervisor the hand of the diligent shall bear rule the uncommon employee uses everything god has given him the slothful man roasted not that which he took in hunting but the substance of the diligent man is precious Proverbs 2:27 The uncommon employee will always prosper because the soul of the diligent shall be made fat Proverbs 13:4 Thank you Lord Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Somebody's future is in your hands my friend and God has raised you up Joseph is a first fantastic illustration when his brother sold him into slavery he never became bitter yes he never became bitter when they returned to Egypt for corn he eventually told them who he was he revealed that he was indeed their brother whom they had hated so long ago he discovered the key that released him from anxiety he saw every chapter of his life as an important ingredient in the plan of god and god sent me before you to preserve you even though you meant it for evil god meant it for good and he raised me up to save the lives and bring deliverance to people around thank you jesus thank you thank you jesus yes lord you raised me up more than i can ever be thank you for your anointing thank you for your grace thank you for your mercy thank you for your goodness thank you holy spirit in jesus name amen